Hello, in this video I want to show you how you can create items for the Infinity PBR human character inside the item and inventory system or basically also in the RPG kit. So all unattached um, armor and yeah, equipable uh, items are inside this folder here. And I want to create this boots here. So what I did is I created a new database uh, for the Infinity PBR human character and saved it uh, into the Infinity PBR integrations folder that I created. I created prefabs folder where we um, where I want to save the items I create and also some icons that are just screenshots from the equipment parts. So um, there is also a boots icon and that's basically it. So um, these two items I already created and uh, we will now continue with the boots. So let's go to the scene and um, the boots are unattached boot left and boot right and I want to combine them so we have one item um, just uh, the feet or boots so I'm going to drag and drop it to the scene boot left and we need boot right then I am will create an empty game object call it boots and attach the left boot and right boot to the empty boot game object here and reset the position. So let's move it a little bit away. Now in my opinion they are too far away from each other so let's move them a little bit together. something like this and then I'm going to copy minus 0 0.09 and paste it here on the other left boot and just remove the minus okay and um, then I'm going to create a prefab for the boots so in the inside the prefabs folder drag and drop uh, the boots to it and um, now we can go inside the inventory system click on the plus button and create the, a new equipable item or equipment item I'm going to call this item just boots drag and drop the icon the prefab from, from the project not from the scene, you will not be able to uh, drop it from the scene but you need to drag and drop it from the project so and let's just hit set up and save it uh, to the prefabs folder I'm going to just override this boots prefab that we created save it so this uh, will attach all required components for the item and inventory system. We can add some description but I'm going to leave that empty for now. So going to assign a category in the fantasy database armor. I'm going to select some currency here in the fantasy database and set up the buy price to maybe 15, sell price to 12 and um, for now that uh, we can't craft that but you can change that um, yeah as you want so I'm going to click on the plus button for the equipment region and select from the fantasy database feed so this will be attached to the feed and I 
think we are already done here so let's go to the scene and um, see our boots so we have uh, a mesh collider on it uh, without a mesh I, I'm going to replace this mesh collider with a box collider and set up the size Just something like this. Okay. And um, now we would uh, write our behavior to pick up this item. But for the next update, I have created an, created an action template where we have to just select the pickup um, with predefined actions. You can create your custom templates, right clicking, create Debian games, uh, triggers action template and then add uh, global actions that you can use. So let's delete this one and then just use the pickup so selected it here already so that's basically it so let's override our pfap and um, now we need to create a visual item because when we hit play and when we pick up this boots let's open the inventory and when we pick them up or, or equip them we get an arrow okay um, I did this before so here is a null reference I'm going to delete this um, this will be by default not there so um, Basically, um, now when we pick it up and equip it, our boots are attached to the player, but uh, as you can see when we move, they are not moving with the player. Uh, they are just a prefab that is instantiated. To fix this, let's uh, open the equipment handler items and add a new visible item this is a static item select it select the item from infinity pbr human database select boots and we have two attachments because um, we have left boot and right boot so I'm going to add two expanded uh, select the region is feed and now we have to drag and drop the prefab but instead of the prefab we will be using um, the transform that is already or the game object the item that is already attached to the human wardrobe on the player so let's find the um, let's say left boot at the scale to 111 and then also select feed as region and uh, the prefab is the right boot so let's drag it drop it there set the scale again to 111 and that's basically it so let's close this Save scene, hit play.
And now the boots are attached correctly to the uh, feet. And trousers and other equipment work pretty much the same way. <laughs> 